Welcome to the FTB Command Center. It stands for Federal Time Bureau. We are a secret government agency tasked to find a way to travel back and forward in time. I am Director Washington. Let me say that time travel exists. The theory of relativity shows us that space and time are intrinsically linked. And yet the technology has not allowed us to go back in time. That is until now. We have made a significant breakthrough. We can now view the past through our viewer and see moments in time. With our research we may know who they are, and much more. Of course, we may not know anything about them. Maybe in the future we may be able to dig up the past and reveal everyone. Who were the people who lived before us? What were their dreams? Who did they love? What hardships did they have to endure? Those who lived before us have made us who we are today. Before you join us in connecting to the past, help support our research in our agency by clicking the subscribe and smashing that like button. Do not forget the notification bell, so you can visit us again. Now, let us see our history together. Walk over to the view as it connects to the past. Here we have Turkish MP Ahmet Fevzi Pasha in the company of Petrovic family in Sedinia. The Petrovic family was the royal family of Montenegro. Here we have Boadva, 1898. It is around 2500 years old. A Greek colonization of the Adriatic began in the 4th century BC when an emporium was established on the site of what is now Bordva. In the 2nd century BC this area became part of the Roman Empire. In the 6th century, it was part of the Byzantine Empire. And in the following two centuries, Slavs and to a lesser extent, Navas began to arrive in the area, mixing with the native Roman population. Bordva Bay was reportedly known as Avar Bay during the Avar incursions. In 841, it was sacked by Muslim Saracens who devastated the area. In the early Middle Ages, it was reigned by a succession of Darkling kings, as well as Serbian and Zetan aristocrats. The Venetians ruled the town for nearly 400 years, from 1420 to 1797. Bordva, called Bordova in those centuries, was part of the Venetian Republic region of Albania Veneta, and most of the population spoke the Venetian language until the beginning of the 19th century. With the fall of the Republic of Venice in 1797, Bodva came under the rule of the Habsburg monarchy. During the Napoleonic Wars, Montenegrin forces allied with Russia took control over the city in 1806 only to relinquish the city to France in 1807. French rule lasted until 1813 when it was ceded to the Austrian Empire, which remained in control of the city for the next 100 years. After World War I, the Serbian army entered Bordve after it was abandoned by Austrian forces, and it came under the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Here we have two brothers, Kazim and Camille in Montenegro. Camille on the left was born in 1913 and left this world in 1967. Camille was born in 1910 and left this world in 1944. They are Bosniaks. People of the Balkans consider Slavic Muslims in Bosnia to be Bosniaks. What happened to Kamil? Did he lose his life fighting in World War II? Perhaps time will reveal more about these brothers. Anastasia of Montenegro with her groom George Mayemilinovic, 6th Duke of Luxembourg on August 28, 1889. The ceremony was at the Imperial Russian Palace of Peterhof in St. Petersburg, Russia. Princess Anastasia was born in Sedinia, Montenegro, January 4, 1868. Although she was named Anastasia, at birth after her paternal grandmother, she was often known as Princess Stana Petrovich Jigas of Montenegro. She retained her childhood nickname of Stana to close relations. 
Anastasia was the daughter of King Nicola of Montenegro and his wife, Queen Melania. Anastasia George's marriage was considered tempestuous and stormy, with George reportedly insulting and outraging on her from the very first day of their marriage. She was able to obtain a divorce from him several years into their marriage on November 15, 1906. St. Sava Street, Birani, 1925. It was founded by the construction of the Turkish fortress on Jasakovac in 1862. After the Berlin Congress, this settlement is developing faster and growing into an important economic and cultural center of the northeast of Montenegro. From 1949 to 1992, the town was named Ivangrad, in honor to the people's hero, Ivan Milotina, which, during the medieval period, the land of Berani was known as Burdimiao. George J. V. Stolpove Monastery was built in 1213 by Stefan Pravoslav, the nephew of Stefan Nemanja. Princess Senior of Montenegro, also known as Princess Kosenja, was the daughter of King Nicholas I of Montenegro. Princess Senior of Montenegro was born in Setnia on April 22, 1881. Rumors spread of Nina's engagement to a multitude of royal suitors but none seemed to bear fruit. Once arrangements were made for Senior to with Alexander I of Serbia, however, when Alexander went to the court at Setinia to claim his son to be wife, Senior professed such disgust and horror at his appearance and manners that despite her father's entreaties, she refused to marry him. Humiliating and angering Alexander so much that diplomatic relations between Serbia and Montenegro were severed for a time. Princess Xenia left this world on March 10, 1960 in Paris, France, never having been married. These two young ladies pose at a fair in Tursa in 1971. They are dressed in the traditional Montenegrin clothing. Here they will perform the traditional folk dance. Tursa Montenegro is a town 54 miles north of Podgorica, which boasts of 121 inhabitants. Relaxing during the afternoon coffee break at Cafe Cozo. The cafe is owned by Boza Rogasic on Freedom Street in Podgorica, 1939. Cafe Cozo is still there today but with another owner and they serve delicious desserts. Going for a stroll down a dirt street in the royal capital city of Sitinia in 1901. It was founded in 1482, when Ivan Kornajevic moved his capital from Obad. In the next two centuries, the development of Sitinia stagnated. During this period, the court and the monastery of the Konejevici dynasty were destroyed. It was only at the end of the 17th century, in 1697, that Sedinia began to flourish again under the rule of the Petrovich dynasty, refounded by Danilo Petrovich. At the Congress of Berlin of 1878, and consequently Sedinia became the capital of a European country, between 1878 and 1914, Sedinia flourished in every sense. The capital was moved to Podgorica in 1946. Prince Nicholas and Princess Melania of Montenegro between 1862 and 1872. The assassination of Prince Danilo on August 12, 1860 unexpectedly made Nicola the reigning prince of Montenegro at age 18. Shortly after, Nicola was close to death ill with pneumonia. When he recovered, it was decided to arrange his marriage as soon as possible in order to provide Montenegro with an heir. Melania's father traveled to Petersburg and informed Tsar Alexander II of Russia, Montenegro's greatest ally and supporter of the marriage. In Sydney, on November 8, 1860, at the age of 13, Melania married Prince Nicholas I of Montenegro, then aged 19 who later became king in 1910. In 1865, Melania gave birth to the first of her 12 children. Between 1865 and 1869, she had four daughters in quick succession, with a son and an heir, Prince Danilo, born in 1871 
and seven more children would follow. Melanie's relationship with her husband solidified with time, and she became respected and influential. This is the class of pro yovanovic biology class between 1971 through 1973. The class size was smaller than compared to now. Does it look like it is the 7th or 8th grade class? Bordeve is one of the most popular and scenic destinations in a country bursting with natural beauty. From the ancient old town to the Riviera sun soaked beaches, Bordeve has it all. Bordeve's 2,500-year-old town is a beautiful collection of stone buildings jutting out into the Adriatic Sea. The Grand Hotel in Sydney in 1957. Locando, later named the Grand Hotel, started building in 1863 and ended in 1864. It was the meeting place of many famous domestic and foreign personalities, and it provided a series of activities for fun and leisure. Initially, it was a one-story building with eight rooms and a restaurant. At the beginning of 1881, a floor was added so that it then had 20 rooms, a large salon, two restaurants, a tavern, a bathroom, a perfect French kitchen, and a cellar stocked with the best French wines and liqueurs. The hotel building was repaired and upgraded several times, especially in the interwar period around 1924, when it had 40 own rooms and about 100 beds, but mostly kept its original appearance, Volkendo. After more than a century of existence, the hotel disappeared in the 1979 earthquake. The ship is about to arrive in Kotor, Montenegro, around 1900. Kotor, historically known as Catero, and is a coastal town in Montenegro. The town, first mentioned in 160 8 BC, was settled during ancient Roman times, when it was known as Acruvium and was part of the Roman province of Dalmatia. In 1002, the city suffered damage under the occupation of the First Bulgarian Empire and in the following year it was ceded to Dukia by the Bulgarian Tsar Samuel. Dukia, the biggest third duchy at the time, gradually became more powerful under Vojislav Ljevic dynasty and eventually independent from Byzantium in 1042. The city remained autonomous up until it was once again subdued by Byzantium in 1143. The city was conquered in 1185 by Stefan Nemanja, the ruler of the Grand Principality of Serbia and founder of the Nemanjic dynasty. Kata remained the most important trading port of subsequent Serb states, Kingdom of Serbia and Serbian Empire. Up to its downfall in 1371, the city was part of the Venetian Albania province of the Venetian Republic from 1420 to 1797. Four centuries of Venetian domination have given the city the typical Venetian architecture that contributes to make Kotor a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our travel back in time. Let us know in the comments which photo meant the most to you. Perhaps you may know who that unknown person was. Let us all remember those who were here before us. One day, we too shall be one of those people. Come back and join us again for another journey back in time.